Good morning, and welcome to our Monday devotion. In today's world, with the coronavirus causing disruptions in our lives, such as inhibiting family visits, loss of jobs, and restriction of social gatherings, loneliness can become a devastating consequence. And for those who live alone, the effects of loneliness is greatly magnified. A couple years ago, the magazine Psychology Today had a fascinating article about the function of the brain. Our diagnostic equipment is so good now that we can actually map the human brain. As we do, we can see what areas of the brain becomes active when a person is facing a certain situation. For instance, one area of the brain lights up when the person is facing danger. Another area of the brain becomes active when the person sits down for a favorite meal. Researchers decided to try an experiment. They placed someone in a situation where that person had to face loneliness. Their diagnostic equipment lit up, and what they found was a bit jarring. It told them that that the area of the brain that becomes active when facing loneliness is the same area of the brain that becomes active when a person is facing physical pain. Think about that for a moment. According to the experiment, our emotional makeup is such that we process loneliness the same way that we process physical pain. Then again, maybe we didn't need researchers to tell us what we already know. Loneliness hurts, and loneliness brings about real pain. But in Romans 14, verses 7 and 8, it tells us that none of us lives for ourselves alone, and none of us dies for ourselves alone. Whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Jesus knows about loneliness and pain. He knows this from his own turn at living in this fallen world. More than anyone else, he knows what agony it is to feel isolated, abandoned, and alone. But Jesus doesn't just feel our pain. He has done something about it. At the cross, his blood washed our sins away. He removed the wall of our sin between himself and us. That means those who follow him will never be alone again. Please join me in a prayer. Lord Jesus, in these moments when we hurt from loneliness, Heal our hurt with your presence. Remind us that in you we are never alone. Amen. I hope all will have a good day and stay safe. See you soon. God's blessings to all.